Today is Sunday, 10th of October, 2021, with Pastor Chris teaching. Our topic for today is managing your body. Our opening text is taken from Romans 12, verse 1, and it says, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercy of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Hallelujah. Being born again, though your body is a temple of God, pastor says you are its caretaker or custodian. It's your responsibility to manage your body and keep it in health, in its utmost shape for God to use. Satan will try to do anything to ravage your body. He'll run rampage in your body if you let him, but you must say no. Praise God. Recall what we read in our theme verse. It says, present your bodies a living sacrifice. Pastor says, God doesn't do the presenting for you. Rather, he tells you to present your body to him. He gave you the authority to manage your body. This is why some Christians, even though they've received the Holy Spirit, can still be sick in their bodies. The reason is, they are the ones in charge of their bodies. God has a right to rule your body, but he appointed you to rule it for him. Wow! Imagine the mayor of a city. He has the authority to run the city, but he doesn't run the individual homes in the city. He leaves the running of your home to you. It's the same with your body. You have to stop the devil from manipulating any part of your body. Use the authority that's been granted you in Use the authority that's been granted you in Christ. Pastor says, use the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Furthermore, the Bible says, you were bought with a price. Therefore, glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's, as you find in 1 Corinthians 6 verse 20. You are a spirit. You have a soul and live in a body. Your soul is the seat of your mind your emotions and your will. God doesn't control your will, your emotions and your mind. He tells you to do that. Glory to God. Oh, the Bible says in Romans 12 verse 2, And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Just as it's your job to manage your mind, Pastor says, it's your responsibility as well to manage your body. Renewing or managing your mind is done through the word, meditating on the word. That's also how to manage your body and keep it in divine health. The Bible says the word of God is medicine, health to your physical body, as you find in Proverbs 4 verse 22. Oh, thanks be to God. Thank you, Lord, for your word to us today. Okay, let's take our confession now, meaning it to the whole of our hearts. Please say with me. Sickness isn't in my nature. I'm a new creation in Christ Jesus. And Christ has consummated the plan for my divine health. Therefore, I refuse to be sick. I have Zoe, the supernatural life of God, that makes me divinely healthy. Glory to God. Okay, for further study, please read Proverbs 4, 20 to 22, and Isaiah 33, verse 24. Hallelujah. So, when and why did we dump the management of our health by God's word for health management organizations? Oh, thank God for the privilege to renew our minds today. Remember, the word is life and health only to those who find it according to Proverbs 4, verse 22. Hallelujah. If you've never received salvation, if you've never received Christ into your heart, if you've never experienced this life of Christ that I'm talking to you about, this is your moment. Say these words. Say, O oh Lord God, I believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God, I believe he died to save me. 
I believe God raised him from the dead and he's alive today. I confess with my mouth, Jesus Christ is Lord of my life from this day. And by my faith in him, I receive eternal life into my heart, into my spirit. Thank you, Lord. For saving my soul. I have eternal life now. I'm a child of God now. I am born again. Thank you Lord. If you just said that prayer along with Pastor Chris, congratulations. Welcome to the family of God. 